Alright guys, here is how to uninstall system apps to be precise blockware on your Android device. No root, no PC, totally just hassle free method. And just before you start typing some hate comments complaining that it didn't work, please make sure to watch the video till the end because I've got two methods in this video. One for devices running Android 11 or newer versions and another for devices running older versions of Android. Because starting with Android 11, we've got a new feature called wireless debugging which is not available with the older versions of Android. So first of all, let me tell you how to do it on devices running Android 11 or newer versions of Android. As a prerequisite, you have to turn on wireless debugging feature in the developer options. If you don't know what it is, just go to settings, go to about firm, find build number and tap on it seven times to enable developer options and it will show up somewhere in the settings depending upon your device. So just go to developer options and under the debugging section you can find a setting called wireless debugging. So just toggle it on and just make sure to keep your device connected to any Wi-Fi network in order to turn on wireless debugging. Next, you have to install LADB, local ADB shell app on your device. So you can either get it from Play Store for $2.99 if you wish to support the developer of the app or the source code of the app is available for free on GitHub. So if you know how to compile an app from GitHub, you can do that. But just in case you are not sure about that, don't worry, I've included the direct link to the compiled APK file in the description. So, just before getting into the procedure, let me tell you what ADB is. It is called Android Debug Bridge. Oh no, that's my name. Press that editor. Hey. Oh no! That's debug, not debug. Change it. So, it is a command line tool which is typically used by developers for some advanced kind of stuff like uninstalling system apps or providing privileged permissions to certain apps and it is generally available in computer and the commands are sent from the computer to the phone through a USB cable. But it is not the case here because local ADB can run right on your device without any external devices. Now open up LADB app and here you have to enter the port number and the pairing code in order to connect with your device. So just open up settings in split screen mode. Actually it is not uh, mandatory to open it in split screen mode. We are doing it in such a way for our own convenience. So in the settings, go to the same developer options, find the same wireless debugging menu and instead of toggling it on or off, just click on it directly to open a new setting. So there, click connect with pairing code and a pop-up containing the pairing code, port number along with IP address will appear something like this. So just copy these things up to the LADB app and then click enter. So here you go. You can type any ADB shell command here to execute it locally right on your device without any external computer. And I realized I was just uh, playing with some hello world level basic shell programming stuff while recording this thing. But anyways, in order to uninstall an app, you have to type up this command, pm space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero zero represents the first user since we are the only user here connected to a single device and space app package name so in order to know the app package name just go and install app inspector on your device the link for the app is in the description and inside the app inspector you get the entire list of apps installed on your device and when you click each app you get a whole bunch of details about it including the package name so in order to uninstall an app just find its name and click on its package name to copy the package name right onto your clipboard. Now get back to LADB and in the place of app package name, just paste the copy package name and press enter. That's it. So if you see this word success on the screen, this means that the app has been uninstalled successfully out of your phone. So let me just show you. I just uninstalled Samsung Pay Mini, of course, a blockware that I never use on my phone. And even after multiple searches, it is not found, which means it is uninstalled out of my phone. So in a similar way, you can uninstall any app on your phone. Okay, LADB is working perfectly on devices running Android 11 or newer versions. But what about devices running older versions of Android? Well, LADB didn't actually work properly on those devices. I actually tested it, but it failed to work. So just with a bit of compromise, we're switching to another app called the ADB OTG, for which apart from the target device in which you have to uninstall those apps, you need an additional device with USB OTG support. That means we are going to connect those two devices by using USB OTG and send commands from this host device to the target device to uninstall those apps. So first of all, just open up the developer options in the target device 
and then turn on USB debugging since uh, wireless debugging is not available on older versions of Android, turn on USB debugging and then connect those two devices using USB cable and the OTG adapter. After connecting them, you will get a pop-up message from the ADB OTG app on the host device. And after doing that, on the target device, you will get a message from the USB debugging settings asking for permission. So make sure to check that always allow from this computer option and then click alert. So it's just the same story here. In the ADB shell on the host device, type up the same PM space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space the package name of the app command. Did that sound like a kid narrating a story? Maybe. But anyways, in order to know the package name of an app, use App Inspector on the target device and after knowing the package name, use it here in the ADB shell and put it after the command and press enter and there you go. When you get the success sign, then the app will be removed out of the target firm. So I've tested this USB method on various Android devices running Android version 10, version 9.5 and even version 5 Lollipop and it is absolutely working fine on all of those devices. And I strongly believe this will work on any Android device because almost every Android device supports USB debugging. Okay, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this video did help you and uh, catch you guys in the next video.